this video I'm going to show you how to use a color sensor just for basic stuff. So start off with your um, regular screen and then pull up the move. Oh, yeah, that's the move tank block right there. Go to this button here and instead of on for rotations have it on. That'll set it to just to go and go and go and go. If you press play right now, it'll go and never stop. And 50% is fine for the power. And check your ports, B and C, make sure those are okay. Your screen will look a little bit different, but um, go to one of these different colors. It has this thing that looks like an hourglass. It's called the weight block. Pull that up and put it after the other block. And what that does is it'll tell the robot to go do this right here until this next thing happens. So we'll just go and go and go and kind of check ahead. So once you get that set up, um, go here and go to color sensor. We're going to go to compare and compare for color. You can rewind that if you need to. You can set it for any color you want on challenge four. You're doing red. So red is there and you can have it go like red or black or whatever but just do red for now um, and make sure you're in the right port so whatever port you have the color sensor plugged into make sure that's on there okay in most cases it'll be one so this will go until it hits red give that a try and see how it goes um, if that works all right have it do something afterwards have it go until it sees red and then do something like this, where oops, where it goes backwards or something like that. Backwards, you know, for a couple of rotations to see if you can get it to do something until it sees red and then do something else. But just start off with this one for the basic things. All right, Mr. Vaughn out. My enrichment class is going to say hello. Say hello.